Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle Dinas, the podcast where we spotlight service in the Longmont and surrounding communities. All right, let's connect. Welcome to today's episode of Serving Locally with me. I am here with my good friend Jill that I met at the campground this summer and we were talking and she was telling me about her, this wonderful organization she's part of, Tenaciously Teal. So I'm really honored and happy that she is here today with us. Thank um, you for having me. Absolutely. So we'll just start out with um, who are you and a little bit about you and then just what is Tenaciously Teal and just a quick overview. Okay. I'm Jill Phillips. <laughs> um, I... I uh, had cancer in 2016, and then I had recurrence in 2019, and I was given a care pack from Tenaciously Teal, and I had no idea what it was, and I opened it up, and it had all sorts of goodies. Um, I got it from my dear friend Carla. She's the director at Longmont Meals on Wheels, and um, so I was like, what is this organization organization about? And so I looked into it more, and it's based out of Oklahoma City, but they reach every state in the in the US and they give out care packs to cancer fighters and um, they have lotions and uh, lip balms and little tissues some port pillows if someone has a port they have port pillows in some of them um, and uh, so yeah we I started talking to the founder Tara Warren and we connected, and um, I saw Avon, so I started giving her Avon, and then I would give her discounts if she ordered Avon um, for the for the care packs with mm. lip balms and the little mini lotions. And so it's been, um, yeah, kind of a whirlwind. We've been involved a lot. We've gone to Oklahoma City three times this year to be a part of some of their events, and it's been, yeah, amazing. That's fantastic. Um, can you give us a little bit of background about Tenaciously Teal? So Tara um, had cancer in 20, I believe, 2012. Is it a specific type of cancer that they reach or is nope. it just any? Any cancer. Um, they reach out to children, men and women. Um, that was one of the things that, you know, we liked. It was different. It didn't just focus on breast cancer or um, or my kind of cancer, which was leukemia. Mm. Um, Tara had ovarian cancer, so when she was during, doing her treatments, she had family um, visiting her, family giving her things during treatments, and she saw people around her that weren't getting support. Mm. And so during her treatments, she actually would give things away during her chemo treatments to you know just let people know that she there was someone that cared. So after um, she finished her treatments and um, she started tenaciously teal and teal is the color for ovarian cancer. So that's, and she wants, you know, everyone to be tenacious during their fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, she, um, she started tenaciously teal and it's expanded. It's um, like I said, it reaches all 50 states. They've given out over 40, 44,000 um, since uh, since it started, 44,000 care packs, and then 6,000 um, just this year. Oh, wow. So they're based out of Oklahoma City, but then they, they deliver them or send them out to 50 states. And, like, I get care packs, like a bulk, you know, big box, and um, give them out to Rocky Mountain Cancer Center and anyone I know from um, work when I was working at Meals on Wheels. If anyone had cancer there, I was giving out care packs personally. And then I put it on Facebook and – next door so people just let me know if they know someone or if they have they're going through cancer so and you're on next door too um personally yeah not what i mean yeah okay. i just put it out there that i have can cancer care, care packs, packs. Mm -hmm. to hand out That's yeah awesome. yeah out of oklahoma city they actually do a bunch of other stuff oh, okay. they they reach out and do um they help support people that if they need gas money to get to treatments, they sometimes drive people to treatments. Mm. They've given out a car um, to someone who needed it. Um, they help with, I think they help with rent sometimes, groceries. 
they help with groceries a lot. And um, then they have Brave Shaves. So the Brave Shaves are for people to take control of losing their hair during treatment. So if they're starting to lose their hair, they set up a Brave Shave at Tenaciously Teal and they can go in and um, they have someone special there. Like they have a free gal that comes in or a couple different gals that come in and they do the shave. And then there's family members that will join in Aww. and do shaves with them. <laughs> so That's yeah. Awesome. So thankfully I didn't lose my hair, but um, the people there that have done it, I mean, they just say it's like empowering mm -hmm. to do it yourself instead of just letting it fall out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can, yeah, I understand that. My, yep. um, my mother-in-law, she just, she was, it was fault starting to fall out and she was a hairdresser herself. Oh. And so she just, one time she just went in and just shaved her head. Yeah. Like, I'm just done with it. Just done. I'm not worried yep. about it anymore. So. Yeah. So after that, they do empowerment shoots. Mm. So they um, oh, doll them up, they do their makeup and, you know, sometimes a scarf or whatever they want. I yeah. mean, a lot of them are, they're just in their bald, beautiful selves and they, uh, they, um, they do pictures and, and stuff with their family and friends that are there. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Lainey and I both cut off 12 inches of our hair over the summer. I remember and, seeing that because yep. your hair was super long when yep, I met yep, you. It was <laughs> yeah. super long. And yeah, so yeah, we I, I even shaved it halfway up so we could get more hair um, to donate. But yeah, we did that. And I've done it um, nine times now. And this is Lainey's second time. That's so great. It's That's... just something that we do yeah. um, just to help people feel, you know, like – the normal, I guess. Yes. Um, what is your focus at Tenaciously Teal? Um, yeah, just to reach out and give care packs to the fighters and to, I mean, I think Tara's biggest thing is to remind people that there's somebody that cares because there are people out there that don't have family or support. Yeah. So um, you can reach out through the, through the website or through Facebook if you want a care pack. Um, I have care packs that I can give out locally. Um, and just to make sure people know that they're not fighting alone, there's always a personalized note in the care packs. I don't know if you want me to show them yet. Yeah, go ahead. So they have, they usually have the women's, there's women's and men's oh, and cool. they do, they do offer for, offer them for kids. I just don't get those cause I don't really have any connections with any children's hospitals or anything. There's usually fuzzy socks. <laughs> uh, and then there's always, I'm trying to find it. There's always a little love note. A little note that says someone's thinking of them and it's personalized. This one says, be strong and do not give up. You've got this. Stay strong. So, you know, everyone gets a little note. And then there's a little flyer about Tenaciously Teal and the organization and how it started with um, Tara's battle. And this one has a word search. There's a pen. So when you're the sitting there doing search. chemo or something. Yeah, yeah there's little things to do. And then a little going. Gatorade packet, <laughs> just a little boost of energy. There's usually granola bars, a little bag of tissue. Yeah, there's all sorts of goodies. The women's usually have, like, face cream and <laughs> a couple of things the guys don't get. I don't think the guys have anything different. There's a mask in this one. There's a mask, but, yeah. Granola bars. This one has a cross. There's, sometimes they have crosses. I mean, she is a Christian, so, yeah. A little cross with a little inspirational saying in there. That's always good. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so who are you trying to reach with your organization? Um, anyone fighting cancer that wants a little love, support. Um, I've tried to, the couple of the people that I've given to here, I've tried to kind of been like, if you need anything else, let me know. <laughs> there hasn't been anyone yet that's reached out to me, but um, – you know, I'm I'm willing to pray with someone or give them little encouragement through texts. Uh, so yeah, um, sometimes that makes a huge difference. Yeah, just a little bit of encouragement, just yeah. a little bit of, okay, I'm not alone. Somebody's thinking of me at this moment when right. I'm struggling. Yeah. Um, so I mean, getting care packs out to whoever needs them, men, women, children, yeah, any age, any cancer. That's awesome. What is your boundaries your service area or do i mean obviously it's it's national so it There's, just doesn't matter no anywhere in the need. u.s i i don't think she sends any to canada or anything but yeah all 50 states have been officially reached this year that's awesome yep what makes the work of tenaciously teal different than other similar serving organizations um like i said earlier it doesn't focus on one kind of cancer 
So yeah. that's the biggest thing that my husband and I talked about last night that they reach anyone. I mean, it can be prostate cancer. It could, you know, be brain cancer. I mean, it just doesn't matter. Any stage, it's any. Not, exactly. Anything, yeah. yeah just... Anyone battling, anyone fighting, um, any type of cancer can get a care pack. That's awesome. Yeah. And just a little bit of support. Yep. And care. Yeah. That's wonderful. So what are your guys' greatest needs? Um, anything that comes in the care pack. Mm -hmm. Lip balms, the fuzzy socks are always a big need. Um, like I said, we they do uh, have care packs for kids. So, um, you know, kids' socks, um, little toys, even little, like, matchbox cars. Yeah. Um, and then money. <laughs> always money to help mm -hmm. with, you know, gas or help with the – the organization to just expand more. They um, they do amazing work, not just in Oklahoma City, but around the country. What does That's it take to be a distributor of the care packs? I don't know. I just asked Tara if I could start doing it. That's all it takes. <laughs> and we had the connection, and mm -hmm. I'd been we'd been supporting one of her um, their big fundraiser over the year. We'd been supporting that, so I asked her if I could just start doing them here. So I've been doing it for about um, a little over a year, and I've. I think I've given out over 60. Wow. I think I'm at over 60 now. That's yeah. awesome. That's fantastic. Um, so are there any events coming up or volunteer opportunities? Um, volunteer opportunities are hard mm -hmm. because you, they're out of Oklahoma City. But mm -hmm. when I was there, I got to help <laughs> um, organize and uh, count um, some of the some of the things that had been donated. There's like this huge bin, so I got to inventory. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so it makes a difference, though. It, very it, important. So it's fun to those, be there and be a part. Jobs mm -hmm. Need to be done. Yes. So it's fun to be there and be a part of the everyday. Mm -hmm. And then I got to. Um, they had a golf tournament that was a fundraiser locally in Oklahoma City. So I got to be a part of that. I got to volunteer and go around and take pictures, ride the golf cart around. So nice. that was that was fun. Um, but their biggest event of the year is called Care Packs and Cocktails. So they have um, usually about 30 survivors that are modeling for this event. And Tara talked me into doing it this year. Oh, good. <laughs> so I was there. We were we were there. My husband and I were there in July. And um, it's not something I'll do again. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. <laughs> no. Tara knows. I like to be behind the scenes. <laughs> I hear that. But, I feel that um, a lot. you get pampered. Oh my gosh, I wore mm. my uh, fake eyelashes for the first time in my life. Does it make you feel so pretty? I was, yeah, I feeling them. pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, they give you an outfit mm. and you get, yeah, you feel, you get your hair done, makeup, everything. And yeah, you definitely feel, feel pretty again. You feel like a queen for mm -hmm. a little bit. Yes. So through that, that's usually in July. It's um, July 20th of okay. 2024. Um, everything's online, um, too. I mean, it's live, so you can donate through that or bid on the auction items. Um, but that's our biggest fundraiser of the year. That's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Um, right. Awesome. Uh, how can people contact and find out more about Tenaciously Teal? Um, so they can contact me through the email that you'll give them. Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to say it? You can say it because okay. some people don't, um, get sometimes it's it's audio that they're listening to. yep so it's beauty by jill um beauty b y j y l at gmail.com is my email and then tenaciously teal's website is t teal t t e a l dot org um their facebook is actually all spelled out tenaciously teal um and so you can reach out to me for a care pack, or if you want to donate, you can go to their website, um, check out. Um, they always have um, random raffle things mm. um, that they're offering. Right now, that's a trip to, um, I think it's Cancun. Nice. For, yeah. I think so I saw that. You buy a raffle <laughs> ticket. I think you posted it. I think I probably <laughs> shared it. Yeah, there's so many things. Yeah, so I yeah. think it's $25 for a ticket, okay. and then you can win a seven-day trip awesome. to, to um, Mexico. Yeah, all inclusive. It looks like a beautiful place. Nice. Yeah. So, let's and I'll see. have all of that in the QR code, um, serving partner partnerships as as always too. And then in the Very show notes, good. I'll put all this stuff as well Thank to you. to connect you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Awesome. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add to the conversation? Maybe I missed, or you just feel that you just 
need to talk about for a couple minutes? I'll talk about Tara. Okay, awesome. Tara is the founder of Tenacious Teal, and she is probably one of the most giving people I've ever met. Her heart is full of love, wants to reach anyone and everyone who's battling any kind of cancer. And, um, yeah, she does it basically 24-7. She finally hired someone to help her in the office. <laughs> Hi, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, Tara's very inspirational. She's um, can- been cancer-free for, I think, nine years now. Mm. And she's just a beautiful human inside and out. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today, Jill. Thank you, Michelle. Um, no, that was great. I, that was fantastic. <laughs> and I'm I'm excited to see um, what else you guys do in the future. And I, I love that it's... It doesn't matter, you know. Um, I like that there's certain, you know, there's there's certain or- organizations that are specific, Focus. Mm-hmm. but I love just the general, yes. just the general, just helping. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah. Thank so, you. I thank appreciate you. you having me. Absolutely, and thank you for um, continuing the the service of of giving out the care packs and, and caring for people. I so. know how it feels. So yeah, I'm absolutely. right there with them. So thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Thank you to my guests, my listeners, and my supporters. Serving together, we can strengthen our community. Please like and subscribe. Do all those other things. You know you got to do them. Because that's the easiest way that you can serve right now. All right. Now go. Connect with others and be a blessing.